Hey Sagittarius, I'm about to see um, into somebody. So pretty much look at their soul journey. Well, in the cycle that they're in right now. And look at um, where you're headed or where spirit is trying to take you. <laughs> and then the trade comes out. <laughs> where spirit is trying to take you and what you need to do to get there pretty much. Also, you're going to look at what needs to be like go up. What it can be replaced with. Your strongest influences right now. Messages from your spirit guides. We're going to do that with five more cards. Let me see. I'm doing a bonus for Sag probably every week just because I'm a Sag. Also, <laughs> because I'm doing a bonus for each sign who had like the most views, like the top four signs, I'm gonna do a bonus for. Um, so, this sign. Okay, so this is representing you right now. So I feel like you're focused on um, money, probably multiple streams of income, like trying to keep things balanced or you're trying to learn something new. Like you could be focused on school, studying, could be studying a new craft or an old one, trying to master something. I feel like it's a, a higher calling because you got the last judgment card primal fire so i feel like it's part of the reason why you're here and it's something that makes you feel passionate when you do it or think about doing it but it's telling you to let go of the chariot so it could be a cancer in your life who you need to let go of or who was in your life or something that a cancer could have brought towards you or a mother because cancer is um i mean can represent a mother i think so it's also telling you to let go of thinking that you're gonna have a lot of people supporting you or with you on your way to wherever you're trying to go like Girl, come here, come here. Okay. I don't know why that was so hard to pick up. But I'm getting that mainly because these cards that I'm going to go over um, at the end of the reading. But from the Keeper of Secrets being here and then the Chariot and the Three of Cups being something shit that you need to let go of. Um, maybe thinking that everybody is going to be supportive of whatever this thing is that you like to do or want to do or you're skilled at doing or learning how to do or something and then we got the sun replace it with like just knowing that it's your purpose like who gives a fuck because the sun is the holiest um planetary body so i feel like the sun is representing replacing it with knowing that it was something you were called to do as well as something you're good at doing with the king of pentacles and something that's going to be lucrative for you because the king of pentacles have has everything he needs um the chariot of earth so pretty much telling you that you have the support of the higher power like the creator of the heavens and earth the sun and king of earth so i feel like it's telling you to not sweat like the small stuff because it's telling you to let go of some social situation could be a person could be a group of people could be somebody in your family i'm going to clarify the chariot and the three of cups like you pretty much are saying you can't take everybody with you because it looks like see you at the six of ones six of ones like you have a lot of you get a lot of attention without trying. There are people who are drawn to you because of your lights for different reasons. Like, I can't stand when people say, well, it's just ignorant to me when people say light attracts light. I mean, I guess it can, but it definitely attracts darkness. Like, um, the moth goes to a flame or 
if you see a firefly or something lighting up in the dark, you're going to go towards it. So a lot of things go to things that are light. It doesn't necessarily mean light. So I feel like some people are attracted to you for a good reason. Some people kind of want to throw you off your course. With the Keeper of Secrets, it's like a sneaky energy around that is telling you to let go of. The temperance, like be... I never be content. I, I don't want to say be content, but like be at peace with being with yourself. And temperance is also, it can be about alchemy. So just don't expect to have <laughs> many people helping you or supporting you when you start off learning something or building something. So you're really going to have to learn how to love yourself. And look at things differently. You got death here and then regeneration there. Pretty much the same thing. Pretty much like a phoenix rising type of energy. I said I was going to read them at the end. But stuff keep coming up reminding me of them. So. I feel like your strongest influence. It says earn success. So. You really just want to move past all the bullshit, the conflict, mind games, petty shit, and move on to calmer waters, peaceful, more peaceful times in your life. Like, um, it could be literal saying you want to earn success, nine of swords in reverse. So you just want to be able to be stress free, not have anxiety not have to overthink situations with the nine of swords in reverse not always be faced with stupid shit where you have to where you are being pulled in a lot of directions mentally the message from your guys is the emperor so it's pretty much you got this and remember i was talking about how releasing some sort of group or like group think type of shit because I feel like this is for Sagittarius who can't have that mindset if you wanted to like you can't follow a crowd can't do something because other people want you to do it or because other people are doing it I'm not just saying that because that's how I am because y'all got the self-reliance card and the emperor those are both energies of people who follow their own rules and with the sun being here, I feel like you don't, and the chariots, like you don't just follow your own rules. You're being guided by a higher power. And I feel like you're very faithful. So I always say the chariot is headed towards the sun. And the chariot and the sun is here. So I don't know. I feel like it's, it might be something you got to stand up for yourself for. People coming against you. The song I just got in my head is... Uh, <laughs> On the line from his song is uh, Screams from the Haters. Got a nice ring to it. I guess every superhero need a theme music. So that's Kanye. Kanye power. So I feel like people might be coming against you or trying to stop your path, distract you from your path because of how powerful you are. Because the Emperor is powerful energy. Also, judgment, powerful energy, it tells me that you're trying to follow some sort of calling or you're being guided to by your soul so with the ace of cups i hope i'm making sense <laughs> with the ace of cups being here it says where to direct your energy is towards the things you love the things that make you feel full the things that fill your cup back up when things or people drain you the things that make you feel full again like the things you can do for hours or yeah you can do for hours and it feels like it's still fun it's the ace of cups so that could be dancing singing uh rapping whatever i'm gonna clarify why is the ace of cups here yeah something The nine of wands, it's 
still makes me feel like a lot of things come against you or are coming against you or have in the past. It's the past energy because it's telling me that y'all had to have a lot of strength to get through certain situations. And it's like people keep trying you with the nine of wands or yeah with the tower so i don't know somebody could allow their heart to put them in situations that are destructive for them And so, therefore, you have your guard up about following your heart or something. Because it always leads to chaos. Or being knocked off your path. Being set backwards or something like that. So, with the Queen of Swords is saying, this is an aspect of yourself that needs to be healed. <laughs> is, is your tongue... It's your tongue. I can relate as a Sagittarius. See how she has that man <laughs> hit in her hand? Because y'all speak the truth. We speak the truth or whatever. Some people can't take it. So I don't feel like it's telling you not to speak your truth. I feel like it's saying... <sighs> Just like be a little bit nicer. Hold a little bit more back. You don't have to tell them. I don't know, say less, Sagittarius, say less. Yeah, say less because you're, you're gonna end up, people are gonna try to make you like the bad guy. Say less and allow things to play out. People will eventually see what you said was right, but don't try to convince somebody of something that they're gonna have to learn for themselves with the Wheel of Fortune, the moon being here. Why is the queen of swords here? Also, it could be telling you to make sure you know the facts about something before you speak about it. Like, be patient. Telling you to have compassion for somebody or for people in general. Because everybody, although there are people who come into your life to distract you or hurt you or throw you off your course. Like, that's their literal job to come in your life to <laughs> distract you, test you, pretty much see if if they throw you this curveball, will you stop, will you go backwards or whatever. It's pretty much telling you that everybody is not like those people because you have the five of cups in reverse. But anyway, with these cards, this is representing where you are. Like, you're the keeper of secrets, so you know something or you know things that most people don't know. And I feel like you make moves silently. Like, you're the type of person who don't tell people your moves until after it's done. Like, you got a deal doing something. Um, got some sort of, like, business deal or something. That's when you don't tell people. You won't tell people. Or you got a job interview. You, you might not tell people until you get the job. You're looking for a house. You might not tell people until you get the house. So you just make moves quietly. And I feel like people might look at you like, how the fuck the Sagittarius do that? Or how the fuck did they do they know that? Or always trying to figure out what the fuck you got going on with the links being here. It's like you're just doing your own shit. I'm just now noticing something too. So this is where spirit is taking you or trying to take you by the end of this cycle. So that could be this week, this month, whenever this cycle is over the snow leopard self-reliance so you're already at the point where you have a lot of power i feel like it's telling you to to drop the expectations you might have of other people or thinking that there are going to be other people to support you period because you go from being this link here to a snow leopard it's a much bigger cat. It's still a mystical creature. So I feel like the difference is this is self-reliance. So not having to rely or 
not just not having to rely on anybody else, but not really giving a fuck what nobody is talking about to try to throw you off. Because you got regeneration being the energy you need to take on in order to get to this self-reliance. It says, as a survivor, we were just talking about how you're a survivor. You are unparalleled. No matter what happens, you can adapt. <laughs> Embrace your transformation. Put on your new cloak. You are a master of regeneration. So it may be some connections that's hard to release or might be trying to understand why certain things come towards you. Why am I shuffling this deck? I don't know. I'm going to get some more advice from the fairies. Wow. So, Awakening is the one card that was upright. I feel like some Sagittarius are going through a spiritual awakening, awakening or coming out of a dark night, night of the soul type of vibe. Like, going through a, tar a dark time where, because I learned the most from my dark times. Like, the hardest shit I ever went through, I came out knowing a whole lot more than I did before. Like, shit, I really could have never learned unless I went through the darkness. So, some people might be going through that or just coming out of that to a lighter space. So, it's saying change the way you're looking at the situation. Embrace your uniqueness, a temporary pause in action. At the bottom is ego the devil energy the illusion of being trapped placing too much importance on material things getting caught up in fear or worry i feel like that's connected to the social circle or whatever i'm not going to take these because they were all in verse i'm only taking the upright one for the advice so i think i'm done hopefully this reaches whoever it was for thanks for watching peace